let's take it to the genesis what kind of person do you have to be to have an ambition like that to break a record since the athon started somebody says i'm going to do stand athon sleep athon dang athon but you know it's just words because in order to actually not only dream it but bring it into fruition you have to have a certain type of mentality what was yours yes uh, what has been your mentality you're mm. a unique individual talk to us right. about about that Yes, uh, I'm not coming from an all rosy background, but I've never been that girl you can intimidate and be like, hey, you are too confident, you are too what? You need to be too confident to stand on wildfires behind the scenes, even when there are no cameras. Mm. I had been doing that in my own kitchen as a chef ever since uh, I was old enough and being it's a skill through with all till I was old enough to establish my own joint. One thing you would have to consider is being confident. Mm. How many women would you have to be comfortable that cameras are on them to cook in their normal kitchen at home? Mm. And that's the more reason some people cannot even work as mates in big people's house or homes because you would have a camera on you on all activities. Mm. And so it takes an extraordinary confidence to be be in an open kitchen, have foreign cameras, have your own national cameras, have all manner of people's cameras on you to assess you based on your capacity to, to stand for long, cooking two meals at a go. And you could find me cooking three meals at a go, four meals at a go sometimes because uh, now I was motivated to feed the people on grounds. Considering mm. the support they came to give me, I didn't want anybody to go hungry there. Mm. And so having to be assessed with every meal on how hygienic the meal was by professional health uh, association, it's a big deal. That's right. You cook your food in your house and eat it, whether there are maggots in it, there are whatever in it. Nobody cares. I had to come up before any meal left my kitchen. It was assessed mm. by doctors and other people in the hygiene field before any meal left the place. And so it, it, it's a big deal. That, that was a part that we were not very privy yes. to. But and all of that was it, going on we behind the me scenes. It's a requirement from Guinness Book of Records. My kitchen had to be tidy all the time. We live at, uh, by, you know. You would go to some homes and then... If you saw maybe, the origin of the food, maybe your appetite would be killed.